Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into an exciting update from Excel that could change the way you work with data forever. Recently, Excel introduced a groundbreaking feature by integrating the powerful programming language Python directly into its interface. So what does this mean for you? If you're already familiar with using Python for data analysis and visualization, you now have the option to showcase and share your results directly within Excel. Let's explore how you can start using Python in Excel. There are a few simple methods. First, go to the Formulas tab and click on Insert Python. Or you can type equal sign PI in a cell and press the Tab key. For example, if I type 30 plus 10 and hit Enter, you'll notice that the Enter key only creates a line break here. To execute your Python code, remember to use Control plus Enter. This will run your code, unlike the Enter key, which just adds a new line. Let's explore some important aspects of using Python in Excel. One notable feature is that Excel displays the outcome of the final line of Python code directly in the cell. For instance, if I define a variable A with a value of 10 and another variable B with a value of 30, upon executing the code with Control plus Enter, Excel will display the value 30. Excel will automatically display the result of the last line of your Python code in the cell. Plus, you can share Python variables across different cells. Additionally, Excel allows us to utilize Python variables across multiple cells. This means you can take the variable A and add it to B in an adjacent cell to compute a total of 40. As we defined earlier, I'll create two variables and give them specific values. By multiplying these variables, I can determine the total costs. Additionally, Python allows us to directly access values from Excel cells. For instance, to apply a 5% discount, simply use a multiplication sign and reference the value in cell C9. Python will then compute the net amount after applying the discount. All right, let's look at a simple example. Let's say I want to analyze this table with Python. We can type equal sign PI and hit the tab key, then select the entire table. After that, hit Control plus Enter, and the cell will show a structure called Data Frame. It's basically a compressed version of the data on the left. We can convert this table into a variable, such as naming it Sales underscore Table. By clicking on Pi within the cell, you can view the table's data. To expand this data back into its original form, Right-click and select the option to change the Python output to Excel values, which will transform the data frame back into the original table. We can use Python to perform various calculations and analyses on this sales table. For instance, to calculate the total of the total sales column, we can use the SUM function, resulting in a total of 39,954. If you're interested in finding the average of the amount column, simply switch the function to mean. Additionally, the describe function can be used to obtain a summary of the amount column. You can also generate a customized summary of specific columns by specifying them directly in the code. Filtering data in the table with Python is super easy, too. For instance, we can check which entries are from the product name Sofa. When you hit Control plus Enter, you'll see a whole row of true and false values. We can take these results and plug them back into the original sales table, and Python will list out all the entries that show as true. Plus, Python has this really handy function called Group by that lets you group the data. For example, you can group by the product name. After we've grouped the data, we can use other functions for follow-up operations, like summing up the total sales column. This way, we can find out how much each product group is sold out. Unlike Excel's pivot tables, the summaries generated by group by stay in sync with the original table. So, if we change the total sales for any entry, that change will be immediately reflected in the group by table. Now, you might think that a lot of what we just did can also be done using Excel's built-in tools, and you might wonder why we even need Python. 
but one of Python's big advantages is that it lets us create advanced and professional-looking charts using various extensions. Imagine you need to create a bar chart to visualize daily sales figures. To do this, you would plot a graph illustrating the connection between date and total sales from your dataset. First, you define your data frame and assign it to a variable. You can use SNs, a popular charting library in Python known as Seaborn. Here's a brief guide on how to use Seaborn. We'll construct a bar plot where the x-axis represents the dates and the y-axis represents the total sales. The data is sourced from a table named sales underscore data. Additionally, you can label the y-axis as total sales and set the bar color to blue. Simply press Ctrl plus Enter and then use the create reference command to expand this cell. Python will then generate your bar chart. Another super convenient way is to just ask AI to help us generate the code for the chart. For example, I have this task list here, and let's say I want to turn it into a Gantt chart. If I were to make it in Excel, it would definitely take a lot of time. But if I use Python, I just need to define that range as a data frame. Then I can go to ChatGPT or any AI tool I like, paste in what I need, hit enter, and the AI will generate all the necessary code for me. All we have to do is copy that code and paste it back into Excel, then just tweak the cells a bit and boom, we've got a professional looking Gantt chart right in front of us. If you're looking to expand your knowledge on Python charting in Excel, you can visit the Seaborn website linked in the description. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. If you're looking for more similar content, check out these videos right here. And let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. I love hearing from you. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.